Hey everybody, welcome back to Biblical Seekers. Today, we're going to see if the Sabbath has been abolished. It's time to see the truth. Okay, let's get started. You see, there are a few different views and beliefs concerning the Sabbath day, especially in these worldly churches. Some believe that the Sabbath day, which is the fourth commandment, has been completely abolished or done away with. Some also believe that the Sabbath day has been changed from the seventh day of the week to the first day, and others believe we can keep any day as the Sabbath day. But let's see what Jesus had to say in Matthew chapter 5 verses 17 and 18. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Now, many professed Christians will look at this verse and for some strange reason, use it to defend their belief that Jesus did away with the Ten Commandments. And yet, that is a clear contradiction to what Jesus clearly said in these verses. You see, Jesus said he did not come to destroy the law and to not even think that. As a matter of fact, this brings me to my next verse. Thus saith the Lord in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake he will magnify the law and make it honorable. So we know that he came to fulfill and to magnify the law. After all, he told us to even hate is murder and to lust is adultery. So this is definitely magnifying the law to a whole new level. So to fulfill is to bring to a full meaning or to magnify. And the next verse is even more clear in Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So we know that if one jot or tittle has not passed from the law, then the fourth commandment concerning the Sabbath day remains exactly as it was, which means the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, not Sunday, the first day of the week. And if we study the creation account, you will see that God instituted the seventh day Sabbath before there was any sin in this world, meaning the Sabbath was meant to be kept for eternity, which can be confirmed in the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 66, verses 22 and 23. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And the seventh day of the week is the only day that God has ever blessed and set apart for holy use. And isn't it interesting to know that the one commandment that begins with the word remember is the one commandment that most churches and even most professed Christians have forgotten? So tell me, have you forgotten what God said to remember? 